Yo, what's up, guys? It's Exynos here, and today I am doing a video just to let you guys um, see how Steam's big picture mode is. So I have a controller hooked up, and I have a keyboard and mouse just to get into the setting. So for those of you that have Steam already on your computer, if you want to try this out, go to Steam, Settings, Beta Participation, it should say 1 currently available. You click Change. Steam beta update, OK, and restart Steam. And whenever Steam decides to restart, which it should, shouldn't take too long. Yeah, so see, if you come down here, Steam is updating. It has to update into beta mode. And then once that's done, it will restart. So it's at, what, 69%. And, oh, for those that don't know, I am running Windows 8. Um, yeah, it runs a bit better than Windows 7, and I needed to fix my computer anyway, so I just threw it on there. 99%, 99%, whenever this loads, the last percent, there we go, now it should be... Fucking update already. Oh my god. Let's see if I can make this faster. Or at least give me the little stupid bar on screen. There we go. And then, if you notice right here, big picture mode. Up in the top corner, right under your account and everything. So, let's try it out. And that is the boot up screen. Hopefully everything's recording properly. And, you can use a controller which is what I am now using so you can go community and view friends list in essentially a console format library you can view your games or you can click view all and it's a very nice how they have it set up there's also if you press left trigger on an Xbox controller a web browser and there really cool keyboard so if you want to search for something you would move the left stick and then a b x or y so say i want to type i don't know facebook i would go f a c b and one i could see this working very well once you get used to it so it's something pretty cool and you can adjust your settings so that, like, I believe you can adjust so it's cursor moving instead of the entire screen moving. Um, you can adjust the zoom. And the thumbstick on this is messed up. That's why it, like, does that. Um, the thumbstick on the controller I'm using. But you can always switch back into Steam by pressing right trigger. Now, I don't have any games installed. Otherwise, I would launch one to show you guys. But it's a really cool thing. You can go to the store, check out, you know, Half Minute Hero. You can see the specials. And you can uh, go up, Top Sellers. Darksiders 2 is only $25. Wow, I might buy that. Um, hmm. I need to check how much money I have. you! And that's one nice thing about Steam, sorry about the sneeze, is, you know, there is always games on sale, and coming soon, you can check out upcoming games, Armor 2, Combined Operations, um, yeah, it's, it's just really cool, I really like how the menu is laid out, and then and it'll show you when games can support controllers, so like Counter-Strike, you can see the little controller on the bottom, supports controllers. Some of these games are less controller made, like Football Manager. Orcs Must Die supports controllers. Half Minute Hero has full controller support. Call of Duty has controller support. You know, it's pretty cool. And this is sort of Valve's answer to console. It's, you know, I don't know how to describe it other than what it is. I mean, it's just a essentially a, like a game launcher so for those that have android phones you know that there's different launchers for your home screen this is essentially just a game launcher that you can use as a form of um, you can use this just as a form of 
hook up your computer to your TV and play. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be about it for this. I just wanted to show you guys, though, this little new mode that Valve has put out there. And some of you might not know that you can try it out, but that would be how you'd do it. And big picture support, controller, and they have um, a group that you can suggest features or report bugs that you find and stuff. So make sure and check this out if you guys play very much uh, PC gaming. And you can use keyboard and mouse with this and just have... Um, so here you can see cursor on the screen now if you move your mouse around. But... Yeah, so if you still prefer keyboard or mouse, but you want to use, like, say, your 32 or 60 or a thousand inch screen or whatever, hook up your computer to it, check it out, and let's exit out of this, and go back to normal Steam, and it's all normal again. So that's it, you guys. Just hope you guys enjoyed checking out what big picture mode is. It's still in beta, so there are some bugs, but... I think that when this is fully released, it'll be a really impressive way for PC gaming to sort of take away from something that console has always had. Because not many people want to be using, you know, their computer on a 60 inch screen and having to keyboard and mouse around in the entire area to play a game. But the fact that you can just hook up a controller, while that's not going to, you know, take over PC gaming, PC gamers are always going to love their keyboard and mouse. It is a nice feature that's there. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Goodbye.